Hi, I'm Erica from ceprintedproducts.com and welcome back to Paper Clips. Today I would like to talk about envelope construction, specifically flaps and seams. There are many different styles of flaps and seams available on envelopes. I am going to focus on the most common styles we see today. Let's start with flaps. Commercial flaps are the most common flap style for businesses today. A standard commercial flap has a contoured edge and a rounded corner. Straight flaps are exactly what they sound like. The flap goes straight across the back of the envelope and can vary in depth. These are most common when an envelope has a side seam construction, but we'll cover that later. Catalog flaps are common in larger size envelopes such as 6x9s and 9x12s. With catalogs, the flap will always be on the short end of the envelope. Booklet flaps are also used on larger size envelopes, but with booklets, the flap is located on the long end of the envelope. Announcement flaps are straight flaps with square corners and are standard for all types of announcement envelopes, or A-lines as we like to call them. Baronial flaps are associated with the same size envelopes as announcements, but have a deep pointed flap and pointed corners. Remittance flaps are almost as large as the entire envelope body. They are designed for capturing information and are used to return checks or cash to the sender and are popular with nonprofits and charitable organizations. Hitchhiker flaps are the same as remittance flaps except they have a tear off perforation to allow the information that was gathered to be inserted into the envelope for return. Flip and seal flaps are for self-seal envelopes and they use a two flap system. You fold the bottom flap up and the top flap down to seal the envelope. Now that we've covered some of the most common flap styles, let's take a look at some common seam constructions. All envelopes, whether they are commercials, booklets, or catalogs, start with the same basic construction. They are either open side, where the flap is on the long dimension, or open end, where the flap is on the short dimension. Here is a number 10 open side diagonal seam, and here is a number 10 open side side seam. They are the same size, but different constructions. A diagonal seam envelope will usually have an angled commercial flap, and the side seam will have a straight edge flap. But that can change depending on your needs and available envelope dies. On larger envelopes, there aren't as many different construction options. It's pretty much center seam or side seam. Here I have a six by nine with an open end center seam. And here's a six by nine open side side seam. I'd like to mention that regardless of the flap and seam construction requested, all envelope manufacturers use slightly different cutting dies. So the angle, width, flap contour, size of flaps, and seams can change. If you have an envelope where construction is critical or that has to be machine inserted, make sure to discuss those requirements with your supplier. They'll help you find the best fit for your print project. Well. That's all for this episode of Paper Clips. So until next time, paper is a renewable resource, so keep on printing.